Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a little bit of a different video. I'm reviewing this thermal printer I just got in the mail today from Amazon. Ordered it with my own money. Side note for you guys who don't know, I do have a little side online business. So I sell a bunch of miscellaneous things and I am gonna be opening my Etsy store when my merchandise come. So I needed a label printer. I have a regular printer over there in that corner, but it was just like, ink was getting too expensive. It was $60 a month. And I was just like, nah, and then I got it by paper and then it keeps running out. The printer acts stupid. So I was like, let me just get a thermal printer. So I looked on YouTube and I found this one, the Off Nova. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, the Off Nova printer. This is not sponsored in any type of way. I paid 147 for this with the little paper that comes with it. So yeah, this is the logo. This is the box it comes in, thermal printer. This is the Bluetooth one, compatible with a bunch of different things. So I'm gonna be just using my using my phone because I do have a Chromebook and I don't think that's gonna work. Put you on the side what it has plug-in wise. So this is my first time even seeing this. So hopefully this works. Because if it doesn't, it'll be going back up to Amazon. <laughs> a bunch of different views to see which one was best. I need something that was low cost. And I believe when I got it, it had a $20, uh, $20 off coupon. So it made it even better. So like I said, 147 with the um paper or whatever so yeah I'm trying to get this box open this is a little difficult I'm in the box now it says office life is not necessarily boring happy printer off nova.com so when i open it it just looks like this that. and a little paper thing with it i could have got the little stackable labels too i didn't realize that i got the roll instead because i didn't think that they had one for the owl oh, for the stackable. Stabbing myself already. So this is the little tray. I guess you gotta build it, which we are gonna do all of that. This is this. I don't know what all of this is, but I guess they gave you some free labels inside. I didn't know that at all. But now we do. Let's get to the actual printer. So this is what it looks like. It says off Nova, has that that the little button on top so i watched quite a few videos and some people literally could not get this set up at all um but we're gonna see if we could do it so that's everything that comes in the box hoping this works because if not i'm gonna have to spend 60 dollars on ink and i didn't want to do that so i'm gonna open this i'm gonna look at the direction in that little bag they give you these like i guess these are for sticker purposes but i don't need anything like this and then they give you the little labels it says this shot this side should face down so i guess that's for when you print in or whatever so yeah they give you quite a few looks like 25 or something like that i'm not really sure but i will be using these also gives you this right here and this is the little manual so and then they have like literally three cords in here so yeah we're gonna figure it out well this goes with this and this is the usb i suppose so far this is what i got I basically put the label in here and I put this in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the Bluetooth pin on the front of this. I'm gonna go over here and plug it in. All right, y'all, so there's the printer. I am going to turn it on. Don't mind my, um, my room. It says turn power on and wait five seconds for the printer to initialize. Did it say five seconds? Yeah, five seconds. So I'm gonna turn off from the back. See, it beeped. It was blinking right right there. So it says, press and hold the green feeder button until you hear one short beep. Take away your finger. The printer will begin automatic label identification. Once the printer stops, it will have identify your label size. Let's see. Hopefully I got the label in right, I'm not sure. The next time you want to put labels in the printer, instead of opening the printer, you can simply feed the labels into the back of the printer. All right, so it's blinking. Let's see. It says flashing red every two seconds, auto label, wrong label. All right, let's see. 
Oh, okay. So the label came out, obviously. Okay. So it says next time I want to do that, I just got to feed the labels in to the back of the printer. So what I'm going to do now is in the back of it for the Bluetooth, you have to download the app. So that's what I'm about to do. They have a, a section just for Bluetooth, which is right here. So it says open a Bluetooth device setting, scan and select the name. They got the name right there, the pen is there, and then a Bluetooth device. So they're gonna search for it on my phone. And then blah, blah, blah. And then I gotta search up and download FBA print. So I'm gonna do that right now. And once it's downloaded, I'm gonna come back and show you a label. All right guys, so I played around with the machine. I printed it like at least 10 labels of the labels that they gave us. So um, let me show you. So this is what it looks like, just a normal thing that I printed out. This is just a YouTube song. So it prints out black perfectly, like nothing at all. And you gotta play around with the density and stuff. The highest density is 15 and it comes out super dark. I think is on number four for the density or the speed. And the speed goes up to eight. So whether you want it fast or slow, when you put it on number one, it makes a clicking noise. But when you put it on number eight, it's like super fast. And I'm gonna show you this um, little Fashion Nova thing that I printed out. This didn't come out the best. This is actually 15. Let me show you guys. So this is in 15. 15 is really, really, really black. So I don't know. If I would keep it at 15, it might go down to 13. And then I want to show you guys the actual label I printed out. It's just going back to she in return. Do I recommend this product right here? I do, but you would just have to basically you know keep an eye on the labels make sure when you printing out stuff that everything is correct and it's dark enough for the post office to see and that's the only con with this is that it's so hard to get the picture because basically okay you send the label that you want to your photos and it's just like a screenshot and then you send it to the printer and it prints out the labels are only so they're that little so try to offer up because that's what i really ship on is offer up and um, now I'm gonna be doing Etsy. I haven't tried those two. This is just a regular USPS postal um, one, but OfferUp is a USPS postal one, so I shouldn't have a problem at all. I'm hoping and I'm praying I won't have a problem because my little shipping things are this big size. So that label would be perfect for it. Like, look, this label would be perfect for this package. So hopefully everything works out. I am gonna keep the machine because the setup was so easy. So here's the pros. Setup super easy, came fast from Amazon, comes with your own little labels so that you don't have to waste the ones that you actually bought. The ones I bought are in this box. I didn't set up the little circle thing to put the labels on, but I'll do that later on. Um, What else? The machine prints super fast. My other printer over there is like dinosaur slow, it's ridiculous. And the fact that you don't have to buy ink every month, this saves you a lot of money. Like I said, with the paper in this, it was $147, um, and that's with the $20 off. So basically, I got the paper for free, and I did get the paper compatible for the Off Nova. Anything's compatible, I'm pretty sure, but I got the Off Nova one. So yeah, hopefully this review was good for you guys. Like I said, I'm filming on my phone, so it's hard for me to like show you guys the actual printing process, because um, I would have to go off the app and stuff like that. But yeah, I print something random, put it in a video, and show you how it works. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about the machine, let me know down below. Like I said, the only con for me is that I have to make sure that the certain letters and stuff are darkened and stuff if they don't, if, it, if the printer skips over that letter or that number. So that's the only thing which is pretty important. But like I said, for the price is good. Is there other ones better out there? I'm pretty sure there are, but the price is gonna be super high. And I don't have a lot of money to spend on this right now. One day I'll get a better printer, but for right now, this is fine with me. So you guys like this video. Like I said, it's not sponsored at all. I will add a clip in of me printing out something for you guys so you can see how fast it is. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys saw it. <laughs>